Hi, John Sowash here, and today I'm going to show you how to easily embed various things into a Google site. In a previous episode, I showed you how to create a Google site, and that's what we have here. This is my test site. And uh, inserting things into the site, very, very easy, and that's one of the benefits of using Google Sites. First of all, you'll notice up in the top right corner, uh, four buttons. The first one is a pencil, and this is uh, the edit button. So if I want to edit anything on the page, that's the button I'll need to click. Besides that, there is a, a new page button, the page with the plus on it, and I'm clicking that will allow me to create a new page for the site. The more button has a lot of settings related to the specific page and then the site in general. Uh, one that you'll be using regularly is this manage site link right here which will take you into the settings for the site. And then finally the share button on the right side very similar to Google Docs in that you can uh, add users to collaborate on the site with you. Right now I'm just going to click on the edit button and go into edit mode. You notice it changes just slightly and the text becomes live on the page and I can now type. Also on the left side of the screen an insert menu option appears and this is where we're spending most of our time in this episode. When I click on insert you can see all of the different things that you can insert into a Google site. It's really slick, very very easy to do. So for example let's uh, pretend that we want to insert a document. I'm simply going to click on the document link and then it's actually going to open up a window which looks into my Google Docs files and I can simply click on the one that I'm interested in and then so, uh, say select and it will actually end up right inside of my Google site. I'll go ahead and save those settings. Um, initially when you're in edit mode it just shows up as a block but once I click save that block turns into the live document which will appear on the page. Now depending on what I've done to this document if I've set it as read only or comment only um, users <clears throat> will be able to do different things. So that's how easy it is to insert a document and uh, the process for inserting other types of <clears throat> uh, Google uh, products is uh, very very similar. Inserting a form is a very popular thing to do especially for educators. If you're a classroom teacher you can easily um, just click on uh, insert form and then click on uh, select the form that you want and that form will appear right on your site. Perhaps it's a quiz or a class survey, a course evaluation um, so that your students you just send them, say go to the class website and complete that assignment <clears throat> and that works really really well. Very similar, just click on it and you're ready to go. Presentations are another popular one to embed. A um, uh, great way to share your lecture notes with students. Um, maps are cool as well. Uh, you can create custom maps, maybe locations around the world where you visited or something like that. Um, so I'll click on my maps and these are maps that have been uh, shared with me. So for example here are um, people who have gone to the Google Teacher Academy. <clears throat> click save. Again it shows up as a block. <clears throat> Once I click save on the page it shows up as the actual map and we'll see um, the map and then uh, uh, whatever um, items are on that map that people have added. So adding stuff to a Google site extremely easy to do. Uh, the last thing I'll just show you how to add are um, uh, a gadget um, and there's these are kind of like third-party gadgets they're not necessarily Google um, things but there's a lot of different ones in here uh, like Google group, a Google moderator um, series which is kind of neat um, and then uh, some other products you know, Twitter and PayPal and Amazon and lots of other things that you can um, add and insert also. Um, you can also insert a gadget by URL if someone has created a gadget that's not listed simply paste in the URL to that gadget and it will show up uh, on your page. So that's a great way that you can get content onto your page very easily. You've already created a lot of that content, but you can use your Google site to share that content with other people. My name is John Sawash, and uh, I hope you enjoyed.